everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a gel extension tutorial I don't have a kit that I bought as a package per se I basically piece together my kit myself so what I'm doing here is just fitting each nail tip on my fingernail to make sure that it fits my hands are slightly different and I don't use the same size for each hand so you want to make sure that you are measuring so you're getting the best fit and they last the longest so what I'm doing here is I'm just using my nail drill with the sandpaper uh, the, the generic uh, drill bit just to rough the insides of the nail tip this is very important I have skipped this step before and I have been out and the whole nail came off so you want to make sure that you do this so that it adheres to your natural nail and when you do this step and all the other steps that are going to follow these nails are not going to go anywhere so I'm just going to continue to do this and I'm going to use a different drill bit for the pinky fingernails because this bit is a little bit big for that nail tip. I'm a main squeeze, don't get it twisted. There's a problem, we gonna fix it. This ain't the type of thing you lose. So let's keep on doing what we do. Mm. Driving me well, giddy up like a stallion. Saddle up and ride you, we crossing the line like a champion. So now on to priming the nail. So we're going to be using this Carlash Maximum Adhesion Kit from Amazon and the link for this will be in the description box but it comes in two steps so the first step that I'm showing here is going to be the cleanser and the dehydrator and the second step is going to be the actual bond so this kit is top-notch I use this with my acrylics when I was doing those and then when I started to do gel extensions I use this as well currently and this is the goat so make sure you get this whether you're just doing basic gel manicures gel extensions acrylics whatever it may be but you're just gonna do step one followed by step two Now, I just wanted to take a second to show you this little UV lamp that I have. It's by Beatles, and I got this from Amazon as well. This is perfect for gel extension because it's really hard to place your nail underneath the lamp as you're, you know, doing your nails. So here, what I'm doing is I'm going to use my foundation coat, um, and I'm going to paint my natural nail. So I do this because I feel like it just adds that extra layer of protection. I don't know if this is necessary or if other kits call for it, but this is what I do. And my Gel X manicures last for weeks and weeks and weeks at a time. So once I paint my nail, then I'm going to go ahead and paint the actual nail tip where I roughed it up. And then I'll zoom in and show you how to basically scrape the excess gel off of the brush inside of the nail tip before you lay it down on your nail. Starry in the daytime Found my living proof with you all right, so in this step, you kind of can't see it, and I will have a better clip inserted of what I just did. But basically, you want to lay down the nail tip on your natural nail, and you can see the gel smooth itself out underneath the nail tip, and you don't want any bubbles or anything like that. And you want to get it right on that cuticle or right at the cuticle. And once you have it held underneath the lamp for a few seconds, you can sort of let go, press down a little bit, but you just wanna do a flash cure, which is 30 seconds or less. 
So we're gonna cure the entire hand once we're finished applying the nails, but you'll see a better clip of me applying the nail shortly. After you cured your nails for 60 seconds underneath the UV lamp, you want to go ahead and trim your nails to your desired length. If you don't want to trim them, that's also fine. And once we trim them, I'm just going to take my nail file. I have a 100-180 grit file that I'll be using and I use the 180 grit side to clean up the cuticles. If there was any gel that seeped out on the side of my cuticles, I want to try to clean that up and then also I like square nails so I'll just be shaping up my nail tips as well. The next step that we're going to do is take the nail drill and sort of go underneath the nail tip a little bit just in case some of that gel kind of pushed up to the nail tip or where your natural nail is. And then I'm also going to use it to clean up around the cuticles. It just gives it that professional look. It makes it look more like acrylic. And if you put too much gel underneath the nail tip when applying like I do sometimes, it's going to clean up that spillage that may have seeped onto the side of your cuticles as well. So the next step that we're going to do is dust our hands off first and then we're going to take our buffer and we're just going to buff the nails so that they are not shiny anymore. This is also another critical part because you want the gel polish to adhere to your nails so you need to rough up the surface. So we're just going to buff each nail prior to putting our base coat on for our gel design.
for this nail set, I'm going to be doing a French manicure, but with a peachy color, if you will, sort of a pastel peach. So the color that I just showed is going to be the foundation color. Um, it's sort of like a creamy peach color. So I'm going to apply two coats of this curing for 60 seconds in between each coat. to be painting on the nail tip so as you can see I like to mark the middle of my nail tip so that the peak of the nail tip or the French tip is even or centered so I then take my long design brush and I'll leave the link for these brushes in the description as well but I take that and carefully create that you know sort of crescent and then I'll go in and just fill in the rest of the nail tip so I'm going to also do this for two coats but stay tuned for the second coat because I go in a little differently than I do for the base coat of the French tip So after curing the first coat for 60 seconds, I'm just going to go in and use the good old gel polish brush that came with the gel polish this time. You can be a little less accurate because you can use a brush dipped in acetone to clean up the nail tip and also clean up any nail polish or gel polish that you got on your hand or your actual cuticle.
So once we're done curing the second coat for the French tip, we're going to go in with a no wipe top coat which will not require you to wipe off any sticky layers with alcohol. So you're going to cure this top coat for 60 seconds and it'll be cured and you're good to go. I'm then going to follow up with my 180 grit file and just clean up the sides of the nail bed and also sharpen the tip. The tip portion is really not necessary or required, I should say, but I just like to make sure that my nail tips are clean and crisp because I go for a certain shape. Maybe it's a sign, cause it's up the nail beds and sort of sharpen my nail tips I'm gonna dust off the nails and then I'm just gonna rehydrate the cuticles with some cuticle oils and that is it so thank you thank you thank you for tuning in to this tutorial I hope it was helpful if you have any questions please leave them below and leave any comments like subscribe it's all greatly appreciated Please stay tuned because I will have plenty more um, gel X and nail painting videos for you all. So again, thank you for tuning in and take care. Something about you, something about you. I know it's hard to find. Listen, it's a sign, cause it's sorry.